This is Delhi with SGU TV. Grenada is such a beautiful country. Where come food so much black beggars up the street. Man, I show that many people will agree. If I say she's blessed by the Almighty, oh God. Like so much of Grenada's history, which has been marked by unrest, such genocide of the original native inhabitants by European colonizers starting in the 15th century, the period leading up to independence had its own troubles. In the early 1970s, the Premier Eric Matthew Gary announced that he intended to seek Grenada's independence from Great Britain. At the time, Mr. Gary was facing opposition inside and outside of Parliament from his political foes, who bristled at his style of leadership. Over the objections of the opposition and an eventual boycott of the ongoing talks with Britain by the opponents, Mr. Gary persevered and Grenada was granted independence. The now well-known red, green and gold flag with stars and nutmeg was raised on Fort George on February 7, 1974, signaling nationhood for Grenada, Karakou and P.T. Martinique. Eric Matthew Gary was installed as the country's first Prime Minister and Leo de Gale as its first Governor General. Mr. Gary, who later received a knighthood and assumed the title of Sir Eric, said that February 7, 1974 had established Grenada as fully and completely liberated, free and independent. He is now referred to as the father of independence. With a population of approximately 110,000, this beautiful, picturesque trial and state can boast of many things, including its flora and fauna, warm, friendly personalities, and peace and tranquility. In just over a week on February 7, 2018, Grenada, Karakou, and Piti Martinique will celebrate its 44th anniversary as an independent nation. Alright, that's it. Thanks for checking out SGU TV. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out our other videos.